Hey there, I wanted to create a short video tutorial to show you how you can convert hike images from your iPhone into JPEG files so that, um, at least for in my situation, I need to upload homeschooled work to my student's um, teacher. And um, as you can see, she set up a shared Google Drive here. Um, and I'm going to pull it up here so I can drag and drop. Um, I went ahead and I airdropped um, the images over to um, my computer, but when I did that, they were actually in hike file format. Um, and not everyone can open up a hike file format. Um, that's a weird, like high efficiency format for images that's used on your phone. You can change it on your phone, um, but I believe it's to save um, on the space there. Um, so there's a super easy trick to do it. I did do some Googling on how to convert it easily. And all of the top results that I researched fell flat and they required you to download stuff and do a bunch of stuff and just seemed very outdated and um, not very easy. So I tried something that I thought might work and it does. So I wanna show you how to do this. Um, these are the images of his work over there. Again, I airdropped them, which I guess I could show you how to do that as well. Um, let me see. Okay, good. Yeah, you can see how I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna, um, as you can see uh, in my photos, I press select and I'm gonna select all of these guys. I'm not gonna do all of them. I've already done this step. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and airdrop them. I'm using an iPhone and a MacBook. This only works if you have Apple products. Um, here is me. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. I was actually tapping it on the screen, <laughs> on my on my laptop screen. Okay, so they're coming over on my, let me find them here, right here. Oh, and there they are. Um, so you'll see that they showed up in this pattern. And the reason that is, is because obviously this is the same, um, these are the same images that I've already done. So that's why it's looking like this. In your case, it would just show all of them that way. Um, now you don't have to do anything weird to convert them. This is all you have to do. They are selected in blue. I'm gonna go ahead and right click, and then I am going to rename 15 items. Um, it'll give you replace text. That is the option that you want. You want to find the text that has hike, and you wanna change it, replace it with JPEG, and then you're gonna rename these. Once you rename them, which I'm not gonna do because I think that'll get confusing um, because I've already done this. Um, once you do that, and I, I did it just a moment ago, it changes the um, suffix of these to JPEG files, um, which is awesome. So now what you can do, and if you're like, well, I don't understand it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these, I don't need them. Okay, so here are my JPEG files here. These I can now, these are regular JPEG files. Anybody can open them. It doesn't matter what device they have. Um, so what I'm gonna do is select all of them here and then drag and drop them, hopefully, into the Google Drive. I'm not sure if it'll work since I have a lot of random stuff going on. It is, it's working right now. Um, and so those will upload. They are JPEG files. The teacher can open them up no matter what she's using, Windows, Mac, it doesn't matter. Um, and that's it. You just have to find the hike text, replace it with JPEG, and that's all there is to it. Don't bother with all the random tutorials that I've seen on Google. So I hope that was helpful.